Okay, so I hope this is going to be very simple, quick and easy. So I'm going to make a, a this name plate, okay? First, I'm going to delete those two. Oh, I'm going to bring the screencast key on. And you know what I'm tapping, what I'm clicking, okay? So we're not going to use the default cube. Delete, shift A to add. So I'm sorry, I'm a little bit faster today. All right, so we got the plane there. Press tab. Control R to add a loop cut. Make sure you can see that, okay? And once you confirm, just press it anyway. So don't, as long as you don't move it around. Okay, G to the Z. Way too high, I believe. So I'm gonna bring this a little bit back to the Y. Nah, that's a bad idea. How about I just scale it to the Y? Yeah, scale it to the Y. Just like that. Don't need to be super fancy. G to the X. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Press 1. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So I'm just going to scale that to the X. Okay, that, like that would do. Alright. And now I'm going to put this one over here. Uh, E to the Y. Alright, E to the Y like that. Anyway, it's E. Don't worry, you don't have to follow like that if you don't want to, okay? So, the reason why I'm doing that, because that's going to be the name holder, okay? It can be replaced anytime. So, we got something like that. Let's add some solidify to it. Here we go. Let me see if that's... Oh. Alright, that's a bad idea. So, I'm going to... Press X that for a while because let's apply the control apply the scale first. And let's see if it's working now. Yeah, it's quite working like that. Well, well just mess around over here. Uh even thickness. Oh, that would do. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Make it a little bit thicker. Um, Did I make it a little bit thicker? I think I make this one a little bit. Control B. A little bit roundy. More if you want. Make it even smoother like that. Okay. So I'm done with this. I'm going to apply the solidify. Control A to apply. Or you can just press over here. I mean this one and press the apply okay so I'm close that, that all right so what do we missing now the name we're done this one we're gonna make the name now so I'm just gonna use this one press 3 to face select if you want to make a new one then it's up to you all right so I'm gonna duplicate this one shift D to the Z okay P selection Oh, it should be easier if I just go to random. Now these two are separated, okay? You can see these two are separated because they are different color. So I'm, now I'm gonna put my name. No, not, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put my name here. Shift A to add a uh, text, okay? That's the text over there. Rotate X 90 degree. Alright, bring where the plane is. I think I'm gonna make this one a little bit thicker. Is it thick? Let me see. Oh, it's not thick. It's not thick yet. So I to apply the scale. Add some solidify. Just a little bit would do. I mean, paper is not that thick, okay? No, just like that. Looking okay. Apply. Here we go. Text. Bring this over here. Middle. So there are two actually. Uh, I'm just gonna now nah, I'm just gonna press one. Uh, I'm gonna put my name as Ray. That would do. Press enter. Oh, don't press enter. Just Ray. Okay. All right. I'm gonna scale that down. Just like that. Mm hmm. Bring them close. G to the Y. Bring them close, okay? And now we're gonna put this 
over here okay instead of just rotating that 3x and then move him like this not like that okay you can use the snap tool or you can use the shrink wrap i actually use mostly i use shrink wrap for this where's the shrink wrap where's this what do you want all right target to this one not that one all right should be very like that i think i should r one see just like that now let's hope this thing is in the middle middle of the a that will do it may be not a little bit middle there why does this two are connected oh uh, whatever so we got that one add some solidify where is it there we go oh we, we cannot use the solidify yet because of the shrink wrap maybe i'm right i'm wrong okay control a to apply make sure your mouse is over here or you can just press over here i'm just gonna press control a cursor here control a oh cannot apply because oh because this is not a um, mesh yet. it's still a uh, text so right click convert to the mesh so it should apply along with the shrink wrap okay convert it to mesh there we go and now we can use the solidify where are you where are you there we are bring it to the negative because that's going to be the front that would do apply and i don't want this to be smooth so right click the shade plot i don't want it smooth all right so that's how to make it simple right okay bring them down but wait see the text don't follow along with the plate so you're gonna do that select this one and this one oh select both make sure this one is the main object okay Control p parent them keep transform okay and now when you move this the text should follow if you select this one it's not gonna have effect anyway because this is not the main this is the main all right so bring them down oh why the all oh, right let me try this it's the origin okay it's still follow along okay it's still follow along all right so i'm gonna bring them down you to the z oh look at that my name over there right you don't have to be super precise about this let's bring it to the z there we go okay g to the y g to the x z g to the y right it may be look not perfect but it's hard to see between the eyes well there it is a simple name now let's paint them shading all right so i'm just gonna go with simple stuff there uh this one or did i apply the modifier or oh, i did apply uh simple metalish silver all right uh let's zoom that out up the metal because this is gonna be a metal specular up to you how you want roughness i need i think i need some shine but not too shine all right but this one the plate name i'm gonna add it as a gold mm, gold there yeah. you know what i should oh i need to reset this thing this black would do specular down maybe just a little bit of specular and the roughness well i don't want this to be so sort of shine mm, just like that and for the text itself that's gonna be the gold i don't like gold actually but i don't know why most people are crazy about gold yeah i might be lying myself not 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 liking gold <laughs> seeing gold they're going crazy but me nope i don't know why they're crazy about gold maybe because they're gonna reach fast Ah, no mind what me talking like that. <laughs> Up the metal. That's gonna be the metal. 
roughness. Mm, I'm gonna. I want it to be shiny. Look at that. Very shiny. Specular. Uh, what is it? Yeah, that would do. That looks quite good. All right, so I'm gonna back to lay out. Let's make a simple table. You don't have to follow this if you don't want to. Scale it to the Y. All right, so let's just make a big box. Ah, that's gonna be a simple table there. Go to here. All right, so this is actually finishing. I'm just gonna see it. if it has some lights. Oh, not scale. A light, maybe 500 watts. It's bright enough. And up the radius because I don't want the shadow to be super sharp or whatsoever. G to the Y. Shift D to duplicate. Bring it over there. And there it is. Ooh, I think we're gonna need some a backlight there. G to the Y. There we do. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's try to bring this. Shift D again. Don't worry about adding more lights, okay? Ah, now it looks better. Okay, this is on Eevee. Let's see on Cycles. Yeah, not quite the same. I mean, it's quite look the same though. Oh, one thing I forgot. I need to shade smooth this thing. And then, maybe there's a little bit of problem. So I'm just gonna use normal. Uh, all the smooth. There we go. See? Look at that. Oh, look at the shine. So, that's how to model a simple, uh, what do you call that? Desk, uh, desk plate name, right? Okay, so, try it yourself, make your own, and put it on your table, okay? <laughs> it's up to you. Okay, so, how you do it, it's up to you, okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye now.